Welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. I am Kathy Grandstaff and we're located in Utica, Ohio. And we are finally outdoors. Uh, we're back on the patio for the summer and it's so pretty today, but it's hot. But at least we're in the shade. So today we're downstairs and these are Melody's kids. Uh, eyes are open, not doing a whole lot of ambulatory right now. They should be exhausted. We just gave them a bath, just got them out of the dryer. They have that clean puppy smell, which doesn't last long when there's a litter of nine. They kind of uh, poop on each other and they're in the bathtub a lot with a litter this big. So they're all doing good. Oh, and the coats, when we gave them a bath, the coats instantly did this curl up. So they're really starting to show their curls already. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna give you microchips. Um, there is not really a waiting list on this litter. I don't have anybody that's got a deposit in. I don't have anybody that has, and if I do, I apologize. Call me immediately when you see the video. Um, and so there's, it's kind of a first come, first serve. We're gonna put this litter on available and um, I hope that works out. We've been so busy that I went through my paperwork. I can't find anybody that's been on the waiting list. So we're gonna cross my fingers and we're just gonna put them on available first come, first serve. So we're gonna start with, let's do the blacks. They're out here. Uh, these guys are two weeks and four days old. Huh, see I'm 16 days old, my eyes are open. I'll hold them up here in, Brit in Brittany. And Brittany's here today, Vanessa's not. She'll be here tomorrow. So we've been playing catch up and uh, with gardening and yard work and getting ready for this farm visit from, we're on the farm tour this year. So I've got people that wanna go through the kennel as well as see the cows. So we're trying to get ready for that. This is puppy number 1116 and this is a male. And I don't think he has, one of these is all black. Aha, it's him. This, okay, okay, okay. This one has no white on him anywhere. Really, really pretty coat. See, I'm a nice baby. Let's see what you weigh. So he is one pound, five ounces today. All right, you guys are sleeping beauties. I'm gonna lay you back here in the back. And you're next. This one is the one I think that has white on the back toes. Can you hold up there? This, this is the first time they've been outside, so they're probably gonna squint a lot, but he does have eyes, <laughs> even though he's squinting. Uh, 11, 28, 1128 is his microchip number. And do you have a white on your chest? Yeah, he has a little bit of white on his chest. I won't drop you, you're okay and he's got white under his neck, and he does have a white goatee that will always be there. And let me make this zero out. I'm gonna move this up here since everybody's laying here sound asleep. Puppies at this age don't last long once they've had a lot of activity. One pound, 9.8. They're usually exhausted afterwards. I know, I know. This is the littlest one in the whole litter. And this one I think is a male. He says, oh, that sun's so bright. So he's, I actually, he looks like he's a really pretty rusty buff color under here. And he might get a little lighter buff, but he's definitely changing colors. He's got, oh, he says it's so bright. I don't want to look. He says, I'm not looking, I'm gonna shut my eyes. He says, it's too bright. He's got phantom markings, but I think his body's gonna get light. It's hard to tell, but he definitely has phantom markings. He has the phantom color under his tail. He says it's too bright. I know. Little white goatee. And just about five or six little white hairs on his belly. He's got white on the back of his toes. He says, okay, I'm done. And he weighs, drum roll, one pound, 0 0.2. Okay, little man. I'm going to stick you back here stick you in the corner. All right, we're gonna work our way forward then I'll stick them back down. This one is, oh, you know what? Let's start with the biggest one in the litter. She's fun. So the biggest one in the litter is this great big quail laying here in the center. She is huge. So you are a big girl, aren't you? She's a beautiful, beautiful phantom. 
She's a chocolate Merle Phantom. She will always have the brown on her face, brown on the legs, brown on her feet. She has white toes, white toes on the front. Those will always be that way. Coat's starting to get some really nice curl in it. And you're too fat to hang on to. Let's see what your microchip is. <coughs> she is 1112. So she's 1112. Huh. Can I see your peepers? She's I'm not looking. Uh, let's see. There are blue eyes, I think, going to be in this litter, but it's too early to tell you, actually. Two pounds, five ounces. Okay. Down you go. So since I'm doing Merle's, let's just finish the Merle's. This one is a, another male. I think there's four males in this litter and two females. This is 1124. And this one has a yin-yang face. Well, it's not quite split in the middle, but he's dark on this side and lighter on this side. Look at the curls on that coat. Lots of curls. Let me see your peepers. I know you're not gonna look at me, are you? This one is, like I said, it's a male. Okay, let's see what you weigh. One pound, 11.2. Did I weigh the female? I did, didn't I? Did that and didn't even think I did her. Okay, let's do this last Merle. This is a really, really flashy blue Merle. This one is a male also, wouldn't you know? We've done all boys so far. One, one, three, five. That doesn't say a whole lot for you guys, does it? All right, we're gonna move you up here so I can keep track of where I'm at. Color's really pretty. He's got nice markings all the way around. He's a phantom. He will always have the phantom eyebrows and the phantom legs. And he's got brown up the back legs also. Okay, all right, we're going, we're going. One pound, 8.6. All right, okay, you're down. Oh, we did miss, I, I snuck a female in on you. That big one was a female. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four. There's another male in here somewhere. You scooched up here on me, didn't you? This is a female. We did both, but yeah. So I think I told you wrong. 1128 is a female. I don't know why I did that. That's funny. The other one is a male, so she's got a black male and a black female. Yep, that's a boy. All right, let me stick you back here. All right, let's see. We haven't done you up here or these are my last three to go. So these should be all girls. Yep, this is a female. This is a really pretty phantom. She's got phantom markings up her legs, phantom eyebrows. Her coat is going to be lighter. She's going to have a buff colored coat, I suspect. And you are 1127, 1127. This one's laying right in front of the scales. It's like, I'm so sleepy. Just move me over. There you go. Just go right back to sleep. One pound, 10 ounces. Okay. This one is so fancy. I love this rusty red eyebrows and the markings on her face. She's got white on her back toes. She is marked as a phantom, but she is gonna change colors. You can see here, she's getting like a rusty red under there. But she's really, really pretty. I love the color. Down like a Brittany. All right, let's see what your chip is. This is 1115. This one is 1 pound 10.8. Okay, okay, okay. You're all right. And last but not least is the solid chocolate. She is. No. Nope. One, 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 one. She says, I'm tired. I'm not going to open my eyes. It's too bright. She says, I'm just sleepy. She's been asleep down here the whole time we've done this. She's got really pretty coat. She's got nice curls showing. She's got a white chest, just a little tiny bit of a white chest. I know. We went back down to go to sleep. All right, so she's one pound, 10.2. So that'll give you kind of an idea of what everybody looks like in the litter.
take these back out here and look from the front. Oops, I'm sorry. The little tiny one out on the end. And let's see if I can move my legs out of the way. Now they're all gonna maul around. So if you have any questions about these guys, um, you're welcome to give me a call. That's the little one, I'll stick you back up here. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna put them available uh, without a waiting list. If I missed you and you had a deposit in with us or were on the waiting list, please call me when you see the video. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys when we do this again next week. And we'll get some new pictures on the website once our eyes open completely up and uh, we can tell some eye color just a little bit better. So I hope you have a great Memorial Day weekend. I hope you have a safe one, and uh, we'll talk to you later.